Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the Piddlemouth Coast series. Today we're back in Piddlemouth, and uh, this is our little bus station that we put in in the last episode. I am recording this on a much lower bitrate than I did in the last episode, so it might not look quite as sharp, but hopefully it will prevent uh, some of the stuttery issues. If it doesn't prevent some of the stuttery issues that we've had in the past, I don't honestly know where we can go with it. Let's follow this. Yeah, um, I don't honestly know where we can go with it, to be perfectly honest with you, because it might just be a case of the maps getting so full that we're going to have these issues. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll persevere, and hopefully we'll manage to, uh, to find a workaround. Now, uh, in the last episode, of course, we improved the city of Piddlemouth. You can see there's lots of passengers waiting here for, uh, for buses, and I can only imagine that they're going to get the bus into the station. Now, that train's just left with 142 passengers on, but the next one's not due for quite a while. So what I thought we'd do today is uh, I've had a lot of people absolutely crying out for electric trains. Now, this is something I've been putting off because we don't really have electric in the north. I mean, I say that, we we, <laughs> we do have electric in the north, of course. Um, but a lot of our routes are still diesel, which is why I've, uh, I've left a lot of them as diesel. Now, uh, what we're going to experiment with is we're going to have this line, which runs from Piddlemouth to North Killtown via Puddle Bridge. We're going to electrify that and have some electric trains running on it, because I think that it's going to be quite a high-density line. Now that Piddlemouth's a big city, Puddle Bridge is getting there, and North Killtown is probably the biggest city on the map. We need to do something, don't we? Because we're going to need a, a high-density commuter line. There we go. Obviously, the freight trains are going to get cross with us for, uh, for doing this. I don't know where we're going to put the 158 and the 150. I really don't know. We'll find somewhere for it, I'm sure. Uh, right, hang on. Why have you electrified all the way around there? I didn't want that. There we go. We'll leave you as electrified as well. Now, I'm absolutely sure that there'll be a section of line down here that I'll have forgotten. There'll be a little bit that I've missed. There always seems to be. There we go. And we'll pop you on there. Lovely. And we'll just electrify a little bit of you. Just because I think it'd look weird if the wires didn't, like, kind of... It's what they do in real life, isn't it? The, the junctions here. They have a little bit of, little bit of wires down them and then they stop. Right, see, oh, there we go. All the way down. See, the next train there is just a, a single 158, so that's not really going to cut the mustard, is it? There we go, we'll... Uh, oh, what's that? That's a stone train. Of course, you've got to ignore the glitches here, because uh, this is happening. Or the glitches with the trains are happening, simply because I'm doing the wires. Shouldn't normally happen. There we go, we'll upgrade just outside the other end. And then some wires all the way up to North Killtown. And I might even, if I'm feeling particularly uh, fruity, I might even upgrade the branch. There we go, and put some wires on there, all around the depot, because of course we need trains around in the depot, don't we? Brilliant. And uh, you there, thank you. Brilliant. Couple there, yep. Yeah. The Little Astreef branch, one of the first... Well, it was the first branch that we put in, wasn't it? I might upgrade that to electric as well. We'll see how we get on today. Uh, right, okay, there we go. Have a bit of you. Lovely, thank you. All the way in here. Oh, hang on. Have I missed a spot there? Nope, I don't think I have. Get upgrading you all the way in. Lovely. I meant to do something with this station as well, didn't I? I meant to upgrade it to four track. I'm sure I upgraded it. Did I not upgrade it? No, I upgraded the length <clears throat> for the HSTs, which we're not using, of course, anymore. We're using Voyagers, so that was uh, that was a little bit redundant. Right, I think that we have got this fully upgraded. So what we're going to do, uh, we shall... Right, hang on. We'll find those 158s that are lurking about. Where are you? Be here somewhere. No, nope, not down there. Not down here. Where's it gone now? There we go. Right, we'll sell you. Gone. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I know that we could just upgrade them, but that'll mean 
whatever we upgrade it to, we'll get two units because these are stuck together. So we'll sell both of them and we'll start again. So, popping up here to the depot, because this is obviously where the route starts. What electric traction shall we have? So, electric, we could have. Uh, well, I'd like something northern, simply because... Uh, ooh, hang on. Central. You see, that could be northern. Capacity 72. Uh, 3, 2, 1, NSE. What's your capacity? Your capacity is 80. Okay. Yeah, you see, mm, you see, we could use a 350, but of course that is going to be only in London Northwestern. Project 110. Ooh. I mean, that'd look good. Yeah, do you know what? Seeing as this is like our capital city, I think we'll use London Midland 350s because they do sound good. The three, uh, the 323. Don't get me wrong, love these units in real life. I think they're brilliant, but they just don't sound. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. They just don't sound that fantastic in this, do they? they I mean, the sound is very difficult to uh, to replicate. So I think we will go for a London Midland. There we go, London Midland. Yeah, let's have one of them. And I think we will have four of you. You can carry 168. We'll have a regular service down here. Uh, now, hang on, what is it? North Kiltown to Piddlemouth Branch. Let's have you going, please, when you're ready. It's just taking a moment. Oh, hang on. My mouse wheel's absolutely knackered. Oh, look at that. Quite bright lights, flipping heck. This is one of my favourite multiple units on this game, it has to be said, simply because of how good it sounds, how good it looks. It's just, I mean, those lights are a tad on the bright side, aren't they? We've got electric trains! Yep, you never thought you'd see the day, did you? Oh, hang on, there's a 156 going the other way there. And a 150, that looks knackered, doesn't it? Righty, oh, let's... Uh, oh, that ALX looks knackered as well. There's a lot of things that look absolutely knackered in this game, isn't there? Most of them simply because my maintenance regime's obviously not good enough. Right, let's, uh, let's have you... Maximum stop time, 10 minutes. Maximum stop time, unlimited. Yeah, maximum stop time, unlimited. Because we want these to space themselves out, don't we? There we go. Right, it's coming in. I mean, we won't need double sets on these, I wouldn't have thought. Not with four of them. But these really do look good, don't they? Particularly with the uh, the Network Southeast station, which could be a Virgin Trains station, couldn't it? With all the red. Most of the West Coast stations. Look at those door animations, the sounds, all the people. It's just fantastic. Really, really is good. Not as many as I thought there. Oh well. Right, off we go. Oh, plane's coming in. He's coming in at a rate of knots, isn't he? Of course, the electric is a lot quicker than the diesel, isn't it? Oh, you see, no, 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 no. Right, I want you to go round here, please. Uh, North Killtown, yeah, add a station. Oh, autosave, right, well, uh, well, we'll respect the autosave. There we go. Yeah, I want you to go around there, because then you'd be out of his way quicker. A lot of 350s causing chaos here. Yeah, they're all packed up, look. Right. Shall we, uh, shall we pop inside? Oh, hang on, how do we, how do we go? There we go. Look at that, we're having, we're having a ride in our 350. With no cab door. That yeah, will pop back outside, it's better, isn't it? Has that 156 actually got all the way up there and back again? Oh no, there's two of them. I forgot we've got two on. Two on the branch. We could probably downgrade them to one. Just one 350. Could we? We maybe could. Or maybe two 350s. That is a lot of 350s, isn't it? But these are far quicker at accelerating than, uh, than the diesel traction that we had. I think these wires are cutting through the bridge. That's not something we want. We might have to look at editing that bridge to make it a bit more uh, visually appealing. And this road could do with an upgrade because it is now 2008. We've been playing for absolutely years and years and years. And we're still using dirt roads. In fact, you know what? While we're here, that's what I'm going to do. 
Right, there we go. Because as much as I want everybody to use our public transport system that we've put in, you know, you've, you've got to have a bit of fair competition, haven't you? So we'll, we'll upgrade that to proper road. There we go. That's brilliant. Now that won't be... Oh, that is a proper road. Okay, we'll let you off. He's flying in. He's 63. Oh, we're behind a... Uh, we're stuck behind a freight train, of course. It's quite a slow service, isn't it, really? I guess it is with the amount of freight traffic that we've got. Maybe we could do with, like, upgrading the lines so that the freight... You know, so we've got more lines here, because this is getting quite congested, isn't it? Maybe we could. Well, we could just leave it as it is and have everything just going slower. Well, I don't know. I don't know, you know. It's, uh, it's a difficult one, isn't it? I mean, how much freight do we actually have down here? Loads. Okay, right. So, uh... Yeah. Right, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, can we, we won't be able to squeeze a line round there, will we? Oh, the class 20. There was a new hashtag, hashtag save the class 20. I enjoyed that, I like that a lot. Right, so, we're, uh, I mean, we're, we're still, uh, <laughs> Frederick Robinson in his, is that a, a BMW? Uh, no. No, it's not. Can't read what it is. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, Frederick Robinson in his car has just been beaten marginally by the 350. Don't know where that freight's gone. Is he, uh, is he all the way in front already? He is. He's got a move on, hasn't he? Yeah, it certainly is taking its time, isn't it? Where's that freight? I see he's stuck behind the Voyager, which has just left, so he can now leave. Come on, off you go. Yeah, we uh, we might need to do something about this. Tell you what we'll do. We'll bring a, a line out here. And we'll have it electrified, just in case uh, anything else needs to use it. We'll have 75. Hang on, what's the speed through here? Oh, it's 80. All right, okay. Right, well, we'll have 75. Uh, uncomfortable position on this chair. Uh, there we go. Right. So, 75 coming out there. We can leave it as 75. Right, so we'll have that on there. Build it all round here. And that is going to keep it like that, isn't it? Right, okay. Three lines should do. I mean, look, there's another freight there already, isn't there? So we're going to keep you level. I'm going to bring you round the back of the depot. See, that's not going to work because that road's in the way. Right, hang on. Can just adjust you, please. Thank you. We're going to keep you in line with these trees. Because that works, doesn't it? Right, okay. There we go. I mean, sorry, we'll, we'll have to delete some of the trees. There we go. Road is adjusted. No, I, I, can we keep you, please? Yeah, there we go. Keep it going all the way up. So that's going to give us a little bit of space to edit our... Uh, to send you flying down there. And then we can bring you back in. Right, okay. Keep you going, keep you going. Now, uh, yeah, so we'll bring you to there, 75. And then a, a bit of 40. We'll get rid of that signal. Bit of 40 round there. Can we keep it at 40? Yes, we can. Where's the signal? Yeah, three aspect. Go. A bit of four aspects. This is, of course, the main line. 
roughly at the same uh, same interval that all the other signals are. Lovely. You down there. Where's the next signal? Oh, it's not for quite a while. No wonder that train got up to some speed if we've got a... I mean, we could have even just put the signals closer together, really, couldn't we? Right. Has that done it on its own? No, it hasn't. Right, okay. So what are you? You're going to need... That last street stone train. You're not coming off there, are you? Uh, that is a point. Right, okay. Uh, oh, dear. Right, we'll keep you at 75. I've, I've realised I've messed this up. There we go. Right, bring you across. So that junction is fine. Yeah, it's absolutely fine indeed. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Right, we'll, uh, we'll have you coming up here. And then we'll just do exactly the same again, but with this line. There we go. Tuck you in there. Nope. Try again. Tuck you in there. Lovely. Right. Uh, signal there. Yeah, thank you. And another one there. And another one. Another one there. And another signal there. That's lovely. Where are you going? Oh, you're going down there. Right, okay. Now, ooh, now hang on. Things are progressing. We've got some freight that's going to run all the way down here. And then that down here is, of course, your commuter line and your Transmat Regional, I think. Uh, Transmat Regional. Yes, so that has freed up this middle line. Are we going to put anything coming the other way? No. Why? Because it looks funky like that. Where's our train two? That's train three. Train 2, where are you? You'll be up here somewhere, I'm sure. No. Hell. Oh, there's a few waiting. Oh, there it is. Train 2. You've got 52 on still. You're nearly at the end of your route. Hopefully they're all going to space themselves out. Nice and uh, nice and easy. And of course we've got an empty platform here at Piddlemouth. What are we going to do with that then? Because I feel we do need something coming out of here. I'm, I'm actually contemplating a passenger service from Piddlemouth over this way. <coughs> well, that's going to be leaving fully loaded. But is the reason for that because they've not had a service in quite a while? Because they haven't, have they? Because obviously I deleted all the trains. Which well, does look good with London Midland. Uh, they've, uh, they've taken the franchise off Northern. Problem is, again, the freight here, that's going to be going, yeah, and that freight, we're going to just stop that freight, we're going to interfere, so that this can get out in front, because then that'll help with the spacing. God, it's a regular service, isn't it, down here? Oh, they'll, they'll space themselves out eventually, I'm, I'm confident they will. Come on, right, go, I'm holding a freight train for you. Put your foot down, please, sir. Come on. As soon as that signal changes to green and gives us the, uh, right, there we go. So we can we can pop you on now. Auto saves doing his thing. I'm really hoping, because I mean, all these videos where it's stuttering and people are saying, oh, why don't you just edit that out? I, I for me, the gameplay is absolutely seamless. I think it's the recording software that's struggling. So I'm really really hoping that we don't have any bother at all with this, because there's so much left to do on Piddlemouth Coast, and I really would hate. I really would hate, sorry, to cut it short. Come on, off you go. Get to a bit of... Can we only do 60 down here? Oh, we need to upgrade this line. We need a... Uh, I, t I tell you what, what we need to do first is what speed is the line up here? Is it still 80? No, it's 125. Right, okay. This branch, I reckon, can be 75 now at least. There we go. Bit of 75 up here. Lovely. That's what we need. Right, hang on. Make sure that these are uh, these are fluid all the way through. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, keep it up there. 75. Uh, 
And then we'll just have it going down to 60 there. Right, so you can do more than... Oh, hang on, why the train white? Cross that off. Oh, another one going the other way. It does look good, doesn't it? It really does look good, these, uh, these trains in this livery. All flying along. I mean, this is really going to be quite a high-density commuter line, isn't it, really? Oh, we're up at 75 now, much quicker. Speeding journey time's up. Do you know what? There'll still be people that'll watch this and they'll be like, Oh, yeah, now you've made something electric. Make it all electric. And that's, uh, that's not going to happen. We love our little diesel branch lines. Yep, we might make a couple more things electric in time, but uh, I, I think we're going to do it at the speed that the British government are currently electrifying routes, which is uh, which is not very quick. You know, our current Department for Transport. Electrification projects cancelled left, right and centre. So I think that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. The same, yeah, I'm going to promise you we're going to electrify the whole Transmat Regional. And, uh, and then I'm going to break that promise and say, actually, we're just going to do the Puddle Bridge to, uh, to North Kilton bit. Now, is this going to make me some money? Is there a tree on the line? Oh no, okay, it's uh, it's not blocking the line. We just don't want that to fall on the wires. Hopefully we won't have a storm. Right, let's have a look. So this, uh, this branch is doing well. 109 passengers waiting. And I don't think, to be perfectly honest with you, that this will take that much longer than, uh, than using the ferry, if at all. There we go, Puddle Bridge, how much you're making? Three and a half million, that'll do. How many folk are getting off here? Hopefully more than 109, otherwise we're going to be leaving people behind. I think that's about, yeah, there we go. We're going to take everybody back. When these are all spaced out, how much uh, we're going to be making on this, I don't know, because obviously... Uh, not every train will be running fully loaded. We are uh, we're quite biased here because we're looking at the train at the front of the pack, which has got the most people. I'm going to slow down to 25, please. Now I realise as well I've not put a freight line in going up this side. That is intentional, just because I think it looks a little bit uh, looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Having three track. It's very Murfield. Oh, hang on. Might need to delete that balcony, it's hanging over the track a little bit, isn't it? That house is absolutely ready for a landslide, isn't it? Flipping heck. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? Speeding over the top. Can we get... Oh, we can't because of that bridge, that flipping bridge. I was going to say, if we could get a picture there of that Plaxton Centro underneath. With this speeding over the top. We'll be able to do 100, though. Faster than the 158. I mean, we will be if there's no freight in front, which it doesn't look like there is. We've got a clear run. Clear run all the way through. Do see any other London Midlands in the background flying across? Uh, no, we can't. Oh, fair dues. Look at that, 90 miles an hour. This is the fastest that any of these branch line trains have been up this section of line. Speeding up journey times for everybody. Yeah, I think you could probably get the ferry quicker than, uh, than get this all the way down and back up again. But, I mean, hell. Oh, it can do 110, can't it, on the 350? <coughs> Excuse me. We're slowing down, of course. Why are we slowing down? Because this is 80 from here. Right, okay. Ah, it doesn't matter, does it? We're still making great progress. There's still some freight coming down here, of course, because they need to turn right here. Speeding alongside the cars. Oh, it's, uh, it's what? Oh, no, it's Mariam Edwards. She must have borrowed her husband's green car. Ah, uh, you see, this is why the train's better. We don't have to wait for level crossings. Much quicker than driving. Look at that, flying in. Absolutely flying in. We could actually have the... Uh, 
Oh, hang on, there's an ALX going over the bridge there. Lovely. A, a battered and bruised ALX, of course. We could actually have this line. We could delete this line up here and have the Little Astreeth to Piddlemouth line. So that it'll reverse again at North Killtown. No, because that'll just annoy the crew, won't it? Having to reverse at North Killtown, change ends. And then change ends again down at Puddle Bridge. That'll just annoy the train crew, won't it? And it's good to keep them as two direct services, isn't it? Rather than uh, just one all the way through. How many have we got waiting here? 171. Right, so it's going back out full again. Oh, that's brilliant. This is really mecking as an absolute lorry load, isn't it, really? Let's have a look on the lines. North Kiltown to Piddleworth. Five minutes. Oh, it's losing us 12.5 million. Right, okay. Um, mm. Maybe when they space themselves out, it'll be fine. Maybe. Just maybe. Who knows? Oh, hang on. Zoom in. Ah, there we go. Four million. That'll do. So, what are we doing in terms of North uh, North Kiltown? Well, that is expanding brilliantly, isn't it? Ah, oh, those... They're the airport buses that are coming over here. To the, look at that. That's an absolute joke, isn't it? Flipping heck. It's knackered. Um, oh, yeah, they go all the way up here, don't they? For goodness sake. That bus station, I'd like to actually get a few more things running out of there, you know, because it's a huge bus station and we're not making much use of it. Uh, but yeah, the uh, we should really have that bus station here, shouldn't we? Next to uh, next to town. But then, of course, over in Piddlemouth, if we just fly over here, there's a lot of passengers waiting for the buses. I just want to make sure. Have you, are you fully loaded? Yes, you are. You see, they are fully loaded. Next one's there. How many have we got on here? Have we got ten? Yes, we have. Right, we'll put another five on. It's going to be a flipping regular service down this bus route. Oh, look at that load all 60. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Where are you going? Oh, you're going up here, aren't you? Right, okay. How many have you got on? 45 passengers. Yeah, you see, this this bus route between the two is doing really well. We could ideally do with the train up here, couldn't we? But unfortunately, uh, there's, there's no possible way. I mean, there is a train line, isn't there? Where does that go? Ah, that's the one that we had the Metro 158s on. Do we still? No, we've got 155s on it now. Oh, it does look good, doesn't it? So that runs from Fordbury down to, and along the front, to Penstow. Ah, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Well, I don't think we'll be able to stick a train on down there. Purely and simply because I've done this as a bay platform. Rather than a through platform. Ah, it doesn't matter, does it? How many of you got on? 12 out of 45. What are you waiting for? Piddlemouth Avon Bridge, yeah. Piddlemouth Avon Bridge. I see, that's actually. Maybe we didn't need all the extra buses. Oh, I don't know. Right, well, that is where we are going to leave it for today. I think we've made some sterling progress there. We've got some electric trains, so you can all quit your whining. Uh, we have some electric services. Brilliant. Loving it. Really, really pleased with how that's turned out. Maybe we'll electrify some more. Maybe we won't. What I do also want to do is get working on some uh, goods for Fordbury. Because this is quite a big place, isn't it? It's got a nice interchange on it. It's growing and we're not delivering any goods at all. So I'd quite like to put a network here at Fordbury. What are you? Voyager. Ooh, lovely. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get Fordbury going. We've got an unacceptable amount of passengers waiting for buses here. No doubt to connect with trains. The Transmat Regional is an absolute joke. So yeah, in the next episode, Fordbury definitely needs some attention. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have enjoyed today's video, click the like button, please. It always is appreciated by myself. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe, because... Providing the frame rate carries on, uh, you know, providing we've got around the frame rate problems, we are definitely carrying on with Piddlemouth Coast, and I'd absolutely hate for you to miss a single episode. 
Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.